the event was the mayor of a nearby town died, and now they have a new mayor. I... None of my people are the mayor. None of them are apparently affected by it. So... I've never seen that. Oh, we gotta connect these rooms with vents. Actually, I'm not gonna connect one of them, though. This is gonna be our hospital area for the time being. Uh, if we get a prisoner, I will set it for prisoners. But... What am I doing? Temperature. Vent. be enough for those. We'll also make some heaters now before we need them. Um, I like to try and keep my hospital off the grid just in case we have any kind of problem so that I can prioritize getting heat or cold air to the hospital. So, Burn dip... Burn... I can't even say it. Burn dilation... Trials and tribulations! Let's turn that off. Hey guys, I'm heating and cooling a room at the same time for your pleasure and convenience. Um, well, Edge, if you have any questions, I'm happy to try and answer them. But to be fair, I've only got about 100 hours in this game and I still know nothing. I've yet to have... Oh, is that bomb? It is! Although, I'm sorry, everything ends with fire, generally, in RimWorld. We gotta kill this bear, otherwise it's gonna attack our dog. Heat stroke, you're going through the same thing with your current group? Oh. Um, best thing I can recommend there, if it's heat stroke and you don't have electricity, make, when you start a colony, make sure you have one small room that you can put passive coolers in. Shizenasa. I don't know what that means. We have a very large German community online for the Witcher stream in the evenings. And as much as they try to teach me things, I'm atrocious with language. I keep saying I need to learn German, and it's just not gotten around to it. Yeah, I've had a lot of colonies like that, Edge, where, like, I kind of put it as a li low priority. Oh, you know, we're not going to have a heat wave. We're not going to have a cold snap right off the bat. And then it just sort of goes herp. So. Tomorrow we're killing this bear. Oh! Fluff nuts. Ha ha! I like it. Oh, does it really? See, I haven't played any of the mods on this game. I'm playing this game vanilla until I get one colony. One colony, damn it, to succeed. That's my goal. Now, to be fair, we always play it on Randy Random and on Rough Difficulty, so it might be a long time before we get a successful colony. But, every time we have one fail, we try to learn something from it, so... Eh, you don't need toes. They're just slowing you down, Forrest. Okay, so we're starting to get sick here from berries. Why don't we have someone cooking? We have some simple meals. Never mind. Um, Dr. LS is cooking. He says we have low food. We gotta do some hunting. We've got our freezer up. We gotta get a grave up, too. They're not gonna like to see this body. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Appendages are overrated? Of course. Overrated. Fastest way to lose weight. Hey, I need to lose about 20 pounds. What would you recommend? Well, if you just lob off an arm or two, heck, you'll be perfect. Need your arms for work? Take your legs. Just looking to shave off a few pounds here or there? Just take off your fingers and toes. Trust me, I'm not a doctor. Um, yeah, guys, let's just vent all of the air. Can we finish this, please? See, that's Edge. That's one thing I love about this game. And it's the thing, same thing that I ended up loving about um, Don't Starve Together. Is every time I have a colony fail, I don't necessarily react and go, God damn! I mean, I, I have plenty of that. Because, let's be fair, it's RimWorld. 
And when you play it on random, heck, even if you don't play it on random, it throws enough stuff at you that you just go, Aah! but that being said, it has so many instances where, um, could somebody, yeah, I know you guys are eating good meals, which is great, but could we take care of this body? Thank you. You people ain't leaking see now. But, uh, when I have a death, after I get over the initial rage fest, um, of having a colony fail, I, I get to re reflect on it and go, why did that colony fail? Oh yeah, because I'm a dingus, usually, but not always. Sometimes it really is just random, so. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> My rooms are so cavernous. That's not a good thing. They like it. Spacious interior. So. And in fact, they wish it was larger. Giggity. Once we have enough wood under our belt, we're going to add floors to this as well. Because just plain floor like this doesn't really do anything for our happiness. Wooden floors don't either, but I like them. I got my eyes on you. Okay, I think it's time for us to build our research bench. If we start getting some research done, then no matter what happens, we can claim that progress is being made. Oh, it's already working on it. Great. And we need to start getting that fire break up as well. What do we got here, see? Oh, good! Drugs! My favorite! Bring them back immediately! See, Edge, that's one thing that kind of wiped out our previous colony. We had all of our colonists get taken by raiders, um, except for the two colonists who couldn't do combat. So then I struggled with them, but they actually managed to recruit two more people, which was great. And then eventually a bug infestation popped up in the middle of my base and killed everybody. So, such is life. Oh, water has no negative effect? That's interesting. Actually, that's kind of nice, because you'll never get blood there. You'll never get dirt there. Of course, you can't put anything there, but that doesn't matter. You just crashed, but you want a room with marble floors. Actually, that's one thing that we might get to at some point. Because uh, we can deconstruct a lot of these like walls around here. And then we can use the blocks and resources. I usually use them for art. And then we can dig up the floors after, too. As long as we don't accidentally, you know, open up the ancient danger, we're good. Ah. Oh, I almost forgot to say. Frag your mom! Thanks very much for the follow. I appreciate it! Thank you, thank you. Alright, so new guy, Vince, huh? Oh, we need to get some names on these people. Um... Bum, 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 bum. We can't have Night Bobby on her! What are you doing? There we go. Alright, so... And as always, guys, if you don't want your character, or if you don't want your name on a character or anything, uh, you just gotta let me know, and I will be more than happy to change it. Welcome, Exo, because I can't pronounce your name because I'm a dingus. Sorry, Chris, eye paint won't fit. For once, you didn't do it. Oh, pool, basically it just pulls a name from everyone who's online at the time. So I can give it to the viewer, or give it to a, a name to somebody. I usually start off all of my colonies with um, some of my mods. But, uh... Oh, we're gonna need more rooms already. Damn it. 
Exa was perfect. Oh, we need a research project. <sighs> what do we want first? Actually, let's go for turrets. So we'll need microelectronics, and then after that we will need turrets. Oh, what do you do, anyway? Exo with the silver tongue, so we can take cat off of the warden. Great with animals. Fantastic. Oh, and they're actually got some doctor skills. You know you're in trouble in terms of a doctor when someone shows up with a six and you go, Wow, they're amazing! That could be a problem. And they got research. Unfortunately, Chris, we're going to have to have you cleaning. Cleaning and hauling. Sorry, but I need it. That's going to help with morale so much if we get this place cleaned up. Oh, we got all these drugs now. Actually, what does Flake do? It's not some kind of drug we actually want to use. I think it's like cocaine, right? A fine white powder snorted to produce a euphoric high. Yayo reduces the user's need for rest and suppresses pain. It is, however, addictive. Alright, well, we're gonna hang on to it in case we can sell it after. And also, we gotta take care of this bear. Bear. Bear grills. Ready! Steady! Fire! Oh, nice. We can, might actually make some sandstorm or er, sandstone. Hope I don't have a pond with uh, chemical fascination. Ah, eh, we always do. I can't seem to escape that. Best I can do is hope that they don't decide to overdose on drugs before we manage to take care of it. Alright, so we kind of have a dingbat of a doctor, so what we're going to do is let's put some animal sleeping spots in here. We're going to rescue the bear and then we're going to euthanize it. Apparently that's... I haven't actually checked, but I'm told that that's a way for a doctor to train their skills. You're going to have to rest until heal. Dr. Alas has to rest until heal. Chris is kind of our new de facto doctor. Sorry, we gotta wake you up. Morning! Hope you brought your coffee. Hey guys, look, there's a bear in here. I know you're hungry and tired, but damn it! You got things to do! Okay, Exo is taking care of the bear. Uh, make sure it's... Oh, damn. We gotta not use medical supplies on it. Oh, we don't have any Yayo, do we? We have Flake. Right? Oh, no, we do have Yayo. Good. We're gonna get the bear stoned. Or high, or whatever you would call it. And then we're gonna kill it. Oh, Jesus! One man with a club who's naked. Okay. I dig. Oh, you know what? Um, character, doctor. Are you actually getting experience for this? You are! Great! Uh, oh, where's the raider? Okay, he's gonna wait for a while, so... We can finish what we're doing and then deal with him after. Zone area stockpile. Priority critical. And we're just going to put medicine here. Manufactured. Because of other bears. Oh no, the pirates from this suffering pack. Oy vey. Group around the tree, guys. 